flying machine? I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. Ah, that's better. What a beautiful day. Only a mild smattering of piglins. Gavin must have left this rag out when he cleaned the photomographs. I ought to tidy it up. Me being chased by a giant man-eating tortoise. I've never been so mildly afraid in all my life. What a tedious death that would have been. Gavin, my trusty manservant and I, in the Peruvian jungle. He's a cyclops. Strong as an ox, but terrible depth perception. Last year's trip to the centre of the earth. Got a lovely tan. My Stanley steam lift. It makes traversing these cumbersome stairs a breeze. Seems to be a little stuck. <laughs> Plastic pile of rubbish. Where's Gavin? He should be here to hand me my telegrams. Gigantic diamond? Sounds legitimate. Mm. I've been telegram spammed. A message from Lord Arthwipe. Maybe he has news of an adventure. Sir, is that you? <clears throat> Have you locked yourself in again, Gavin? Good morning, Mr. Fidel. Ah, there you are, Gavin. Where have you been? I was just, uh... Deflating the Zeppelin, sir. 
I did not hear you walk down these stairs. Did you sleep well? Unfortunately not. It was a restless night, embothered by some strange dreams. My mind craves adventure. And without it, I fear I'm going quite mad. It's been two months without the slightest expedition. I'm becoming a little worried. What shall I do if I can't do my adventurings? Do not fear, sir. There is an old Peruvian saying. The forest is full of trees. Hmm. Quite. My grandfather had a massive clock. My grandfather... My dear mother, I owe her so much. Approximately £12,000 and a new gazebo. Just some artefacts I picked up on my travels. My prized possession. An actual Tyrannosaur arm bone. I shot my first yeti with that. Nearly lost my moustache in the process. A rather cheeky specimen. I'm writing my autobiography. A fiddle here and there. It is a... There you are, Bertram. Good morning, dear heart. It's nearly ten o'clock. I hardly call that morning. Haven't you got some adventuring to do? Alas, no. I have been looking, but I just can't find any expeditions worthy of my talents. Well, if you don't find something to adventure soon, I shall require that you find yourself a proper job. It's not that easy, my dear. You can't merely go outside and find yourself in a world full of unimaginable creatures. Adventure strikes when you least expect it. That as may be. I am accustomed to certain standards, Bertram. Being respectable costs money. Your mother agrees with me. She has mentioned there is a very respectable position at Mr. Dullsworth Soap Company providing telegrammatic advertising. The hours are long and arduous and the work repetitive and uninteresting. But you would receive a steady income, Bertram. My, my, is that the, um, I really must be off. <gasps> Bertram, <gasps> caviar doesn't just grow on trees. There, there, my dear. Don't cry. I'm sure there is an adventure just around the corner. Bother some creature. Is the bottle of gin half full or half empty? Foofy's carry basket. Foofy's carry basket. I'm sorry, dear. You have until the end of the day to find suitable employment, or I am calling Mr. Dullsworth. Oh, well. Of course, my dear. Thank you, Bertram. Now, could you do me a favor? Um, well, well, I do have an appointment with Lord Arthwipe. For goodness sake, Bertram. I 
don't like you running errands for a dreadful man. It's just not becoming. Now then, can you take Foofy to the groomery for me? It's on Groom Street. I, uh, yes, of course, my dear. This is all very tiresome. I'm going to lie down. Some creature. Basket! Foofy! Foofy! Basket! What's the matter, Foofy? Hopefully, that will keep him quiet for a while. Is the bottle of gin half full or half empty? to my knees in adventure in Africa, just before I discovered the world's shortest river. Back in 1878, I managed to hunt down and kill the majestic rhino bird. Don't you know? May I remind you that I possess immense strength, Mr. Phoebe? Yes. Be a good fellow and move this cabinet, Gavin. Certainly, sir. <laughs> Ouch! 
Are you okay, sir? What's this? It appears to be a nose. He must have dropped it in his haste to scurry off into the shadows. You squashed me oranges! Me lovely orangey oranges! Don't touch me oranges! Evening, Bobo! Did you see a suspicious, shadowy little man run by, Potshops? I wish to return his bag. No, sir, I have not. You should ask that Sherlock Holmes, sir. He's a proper detective. You can find him in the Adventurers Club. Yes, yes, I know who he is. I'm quite the detective myself, you know. Blessed with a keen eye for detail. Let me have a look at that. Oh, look! The Freak Show is in town. short, shadowy, sinister-looking chap scurry by? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Upgrade your moustache. A shilling? I'm not paying that. Your Majesty. Over here. Emmelina Snoopsworth, reporter for the Evening Burble. Good day. Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Perhaps you've heard of me. Um, yes. Yes, of course I have. Maybe you can help me. Are you a member of the Adventurers Club? Indeed I am, madam. How may I be of service? I'm investigating the ghastly murderings that have been happening, and I want to interview Sherlock Holmes, but he's a very difficult man to get hold of. They won't even allow women in this ridiculous, outdated, backwards club. It's 1884, not the Middle Ages. Quite. As it happens, I'm going to see Sherlock Holmes now. Perhaps I can ask for you. That would be most helpful. If you learn anything about the recent murderings, do tell. Have you found out anything yet? I'm still conducting my investigation. Well, tell me as soon as you're done. Our readers demand news as soon as it happens. Who knows what this could be used for? Oh, good evening, Mr. Fiddles. The usual. Yes, please. One can never have enough tea. One cup at a time should be enough. How do you do, Sir Grouchley? How do you think, Fiddle? Things haven't been the same since I lost my legs in Venice. Constant pain, Fiddle. Constant. Oh. I am sorry. That sounds terrible. You weren't there, man. You weren't there. Oh, porcupine canopies. A prickly aperitif. Lord Rochester has been asleep since 1882. A grisly and gnarled member.
Wood, how are you? Fiddle, long time no see. Yes, it's been a while. Just telling Melvis here about my latest adventure. Four months in Patagonia. South America. Discovered a lost world. It was well splendid. Yeah. Found this thing up a crevice. Crevasse. So thought I'd bring it back. Don't even know what it is. Got a few ideas. <laughs> Crazy. Prehistoric. It's a very unique looking creature. Don't touch Fiddle. She bites. Not too keen on being cooped up. You nearly took my elbow off. But if she got out, who knows what she might do? Pandemonium, I expect. Is the lock safe? Safe as houses, Fiddle. Pay top shilling for that beauty. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, you are not permitted into the gold members area. It is for A-list adventurers only. I've never been so outraged. I need to see Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes has asked expressly not to be disturbed as he is working on the dreadful case of Jeff the Murderer. I have my own case I want to talk to him about. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, you are not permitted into the gold members area. Your Majesty. Hmm. Has someone been trolling? His antlers are as twisted as this mystery. What an imposing pachyderm. His trunk is colossal. The main attraction, taking pride of place on the wall. A genuine Fijian mermaid, although it does look a bit fishy. What a unique horn. But what sort of animal is it? What a glorious rhinoceros. Ooh, he looks a bit sickly. to cause a flap. Fly, little creature, fly! Crikey! Fiddle! You buffoon! What have you done? Oh, you Come back! Come back to me! Oh. I am right behind you, guy. Oh, yes, that's the spot. Lord Cragglewedge, first man to climb halfway up Mount Everest. It's quite an achievement. Hmm, yes, the infamous Jade Griffin. Ah, Sherlock's private room. No doubt where he works on his important cases. Yes. I'm afraid not, sir. Sir Clive Odwing, the world-renowned ornithologist's private chamber. He's left his door ajar. Do you mind? Oh, uh, terribly sorry. The door was open and I... Uh, 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 no. Ooh, down a bit, Sandra. Don't just stand there gawking, man. I'm sure it's nothing I've seen before. Ooh, you've got cold hands. Is that the breast 
Did Wedge cock? <laughs> My, I've not seen one of those for many a year. We have a saying in Peru, two can play that game. Oh, it's like living in an avian paradise. Pick those leaves up from a fellow in Indies. Strong stuff. Good for relaxing. Help yourself. Um, I'll be off then. Be a good fellow and shut the door on your way out. Oh my, that's a potent concoction. I don't like my herbs watered down. That would be a waste of this nice, relaxing tea. I win again, Watson. You really are a dolt. I'm sorry, Holmes. I'm trying. It's just I don't really understand the rules of this game. All your games. Morty! Been there, been there, been there, been... Th oh, that's new. Ah, oh, fiddle. What brings you here? Come to bore us with more tales of one of your piffling adventures, have you? No, I'm on a mission to return this bag unto its rightful owner. And who is its rightful owner? That I have yet to ascertain. There are absolutely no clues whatsoever. Have you tried looking in the bag? Ah, I never thought of that. Oh, ahead! The features have been sliced off expertly with a sharp instrument by someone with skill and panache. Ah, this looks like the work of London's most elusive serial killer. Jeff the Murderer. Ha! Good luck finding him, Fiddle. The whole of Scotland Yard hasn't been able to track him down in decades. I rather fancy my luck, Holmes. He can't be that far away. <laughs> you, Fiddle. You couldn't find your own tolly water in the toilet. Ha ha ha. I'll wager you wager you don't even come close. Ha <laughs> ha. If you can find Jeff the Murderer, I'll wear a woman's dress and dance the trifling gallop round the streets of Lambeth. I accept, good sir. Nice to see you, Bertram. Shush, Watson. But the... I hope she doesn't have bad... I say... That's not to be sniffed at. Go away, fiddle. 
But the... Shush, Watson. Maybe I could make something to calm Sherlock down. Go away, fiddle. But the... Shush, Watson. Maybe I could make something to calm Sherlock down. Try this one. It's a special blend. Give me that. Being the world's greatest crook thwarter is thirsty work. What, what, what is in this tea? I feel somewhat strange. What have you done? Is he dead? Don't worry, Watson. He's just sleeping. Oh, uh, I mean, good. Now, was there something you wanted to tell me? I know you think me silly for saying, but you need to ask the spirits for help. Spirits? I am a man of science. I don't believe in such perfidery. No, Bertram. They exist. I have seen them with my own two eyes. Sherlock says it was a seagull. But I know it was the spirit of the recently departed. The spirit sometimes lingers on in this realm, especially if it has been wrong. You should help her find peace by collecting the missing body parts. Try and find Count Fulchmuckle. He's a gentleman with an acquired taste, but he does have certain connections. I'm sure he can help you on your quest. Seek out those trained in the dark arts. At your service. Yes. No, sir. Been there, been there, been there, been... Th oh, that's new. Anything yet? Well, madam, I spoke to Sherlock, but he's somewhat occupied right now. Typical. The conceited buffoon. However, I am able to inform you that I, Bertram Fiddle, am now on the case of Jeff the Murderer. And I shan't rest until I find him. Oh, my goodness, this is wonderful news. Our readers will be delighted to hear about this. You can tell your readers not to fear. I can be quite sleuthful when I need to be. Here's my news blimp now. I must be off, Mr. Fiddle, but I'm sure I shall see you again. Good luck, Mr. Fiddle! Your Majesty. Street? This must be Lord Arthwipe's abode. Extra! Extra! Bertram Fiddle on the hunt for Jeff the Murderer! Public less than confident! My! News travels fast around here! Would 
to say my nose looks big in this. Have you heard the news, Fiddle? There's been another murder, right under our noses. They say he is the devil himself. Terrible, isn't it? Terrible? Terrible? You do not know the meaning of the word, Fiddle. Now I, on the other hand, I have done some truly terrible things in my time. Fortunately, <laughs> I am so rich. I am above the law. <laughs> <laughs> My double-headed cobra fiddle. <laughs> Twice as deadly as a normal one. <gasps> Is that blood on your carpet? Yes, I... I cut myself. Shaving. Tiger cordial fiddle. The most refreshing libation. Do you want some? It puts a spring in your step, fiddle. Makes you feel ten feet tall. Don't touch my saber! an interesting collection of etchings. Interesting paintings, your lordship. Are they Dutch? Nice doggy. It's not a dog, you fool. It's a wolf beast. I have a little errand for you, Fiddle. You may encounter a Lady Ravisham whilst traipsing around. She has in her possession some photographs that I would rather she did not. I need you to retrieve them for me. If you obtain them successfully, meet me in Lady Ravisham's secret garden, and I will reward you handsomely. But tell no one, Fiddle. No one. I have arranged for my coach to take you there. It is waiting outside. <laughs> Okay. Yes. I cannot do that, sir. Yes. Would not work, sir. Ah, Mr. Fiddle, I've been waiting for you. Hurry up, I ain't got all day. Giddy up! turning out to be. I'm never going to find myself an adventure at this rate. There is no way a man of my caliber should have to work for Mr. Dullsworth. But at least this mission for Lord Arthwipe should see us well rewarded. I don't trust him. He has funny eyes. Lord Arthwipe? He's a very important and extremely well-connected gentleman. If we can impress him, I'm sure he will be able to provide us with some form of adventure. We must hunt down this Jeff the murderer, and fast. But the odds are stacked against us. 
He has eluded all attempts at capture so far and taunts even the greatest detective minds. Imagine the look on Sherlock's face if we were to succeed where he has not. And your wife's dog, sir. And Foofy. I must get him back or Werther will be furious. We have a thing in Peru. An armadillo never gives up. You're right, Gavin. And neither shall we. <laughs> Don't let him get away again, Gavin! There he is! Behind bars, where he belongs. Oh, damn it! How did he get through there? An oar? Next to a gate? In an alley? Why? You could say it was an alligator. Ha. Dr. Jupitron's reinvigorative tonic. A cure for all your ailments and whimsies. Yes. Quickly, Gavin, you come urgently out. We must follow him. Sir, I sense a disturbance in defense. He's a slippery little fellow. Where's he gone now? house. She was known as the most beautiful lady in London, but no one has seen her for years. last night, and I haven't seen him since. Oh, really? He's a funny one, to be honest, sir. Hates the life, and he has some strange requests. But he's always been good to me. Ah, I, I should probably be off now. 
Oh, yes. I'm afraid I've said too much. Good day, sir. And if you see the Count, tell him his breakfast is getting cold. Gracious me! Those are sizable undergarments. Gracious me! Those are sizable undergarments. Sees this, think of the scandal. May as well leave that here. See you later, Alley Gate or Got them. Ooh, silky. Pigeons are getting bolder all the time. Shoo! Shoo! What are they pecking at? It's a mouth! One more piece of the puzzle. What a winning smile! That's too heavy for me to lift. I'll put my back out. At your service. Hmm, it's a good start. The wall is too high. I see. An Emerson and Burke portable steam plinth for elevating your opinion. But how do I get on it? The entrance to Lady Ravisham's secret garden. It looks a bit overgrown. I don't think anyone has been in here for quite some time. The lock is all seized up. We have a saying in Peru. A wise monkey does not need a door. Excellent idea, Gavin. Now, if only we had a monkey. At your service. What are they? Very special, that's what they are. But I ain't got time for chitter chatter. Water is dripping everywhere. It's gonna be spoil everything. It's a bit fishy. It's a pineapple. Ain't you never seen one before? The exotic produce is getting dripped on. I have to move it on. Right, Blue and Stater tells you. Look at me, Ruth. It's in tatters. Not ten minutes ago, a huge beak bird, the sort I've never seen before, swooped down. It tried to get at me marrows. I only just managed to fight it off. Giant pink bird, you say? I wonder what that could have been. Great big flappy thing it were, with eyes like beetroot.
try these on for size. Blooming marvellous, sir. Call cool, blimey, sir. I'm most humbly indebted to you. How can I ever repay you? Call cool, blimey, sir. I'm most humbly indebted to you. How can I ever repay you? What are they? Have a good dodos. The world's rarest fruits. You can have one in return for helping me out. One good turn deserves another. <gasps> Thank you, good sir. Ew, it's all wiggly. Are you just going to stay there gawking? It's a good start, but I... St That's still quite high, Gavin, and I'm wearing my tight trousers. I've stepped in something sticky. Now my feet are all wet. Woods's original gripe water. The bitterest beverage money can buy. What's in here? There's someone in here. I can hear them. A faint sliver of light. Well, at least that's something. We need some illumination. The lesser spotted glump. The lesser spotted glump. A footstool. That will come in handy. This gaping chasm is too wide for me to leap across.
What a dreadful racket. I can't hear myself think. Hello, your ladyship. How are you? What's that? I can't hear a word you're saying. Oh, that's better. I can hear you now. Have you heard about the murderous villain known only as Jeff the Murderer? I, Bertram Fiddle, am hunting him down. You should be careful. Living on your own. Don't worry, young man. I have a feeling I shall be quite safe. Is there anything else you want? Squawk! Have you met Mr. Calamus? He's my only companion. I tell him all my secrets. Tells me all her secrets, but never remembers to feed me. Really got the energy to lift my wings. I'm no telltale. My beak is sealed. What did you say? All he wants a cracker. I'm starving. What? Look how it catches the light. Oh, uh, that thing. A mere trinket that has brought nothing but bad luck. A gift from someone I'd rather forget. May it bring you better fortune than it has me. I'm no cow to help. My beak is sealed. What did you say? All he wants a cracker. I'm starving. That looks like it was painted a long, 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 long time ago. Rummage in my drawers if you like, dearie. I've got nothing to hide. Rummage in my drawers if you like, dearie. I've got nothing to hide. Yes. Rummage in my drawers if you like, dearie. I've got nothing to hide. That's better. And now to nimbly scale the wall and make my way elegantly into the garden. I need further elevation. Yes. Are you okay, sir? Yes, yes, I'm fine. So this is Lady Ravisham's secret garden. It looks a bit neglected. Here's the problem. It was bolted from the inside. A stout vine. I've swung on a few of these before. Hold your nose, Gabby. What fantastic flora. Such beautiful botany. Where are all the bees? Hmm, that bush has been pruned for years. Look out, Gabby. It's a lion. My goodness. Rhododendra carnivosa. Thank you. 
some details. What unimaginable thing could satisfy his hunger? Ah, the forbidden fruit. There's nothing so delicious as that which is taboo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 If the living can't offer any clues, then maybe the dead can? Hmm? Tell me more. Do you know Sir Bruce and Lady Jane Wimpery? They are keen spiritomologists, and I know Sir Bruce has had need of special assistance in the past. I've heard of a gypsy lady who has such powers. Mayhaps you should seek her out, but be careful, Fiddle. You are meddling with things you can't imagine. Here, take this for protection. Leave me to my gluttony. These are dark times and powerful forces are at work. Nobody knows whom they can trust. They sense fear, Fiddle. Are you afraid? They can strip a man to bones in minutes. I've seen it. Mm. to leap effortlessly across. I need a little more momentum. Yes. Let me give you a push. Hold tight, sir. 
You wait there, Gavin. I shall venture into the attic alone. And when he got there, the cupboard was, ooh, a biscuit. step into the picture. Ah, Lady Ravisham's chest. That's seen better days. The photomographs must be in here. The lock is too strong. I need the combination. Wipe is after. I wonder why he wants them so badly. you want. Perhaps not. These are what Lord Arthwipe is after.
your step, sir. There must be a way out somewhere around here. My goodness! This tunnel has led us right under the canal. Ooh, fancy that. Gavin, you look different. Oh, you have an eye stuck to your face. Another clue! An eye for an eye. An eye for an... Wow, oh, are you an angel? No, I am Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Oh, I'm Norris, and I'm a bit down on me luck, mister. Me good lady wife threw me out on account of me tuneless whistling. Said it were driving her to distraction, she did. Oh, poor you. Indeed, sir. Now I'm sat here in this tub, a pondering the meaning of life. Enjoying a good soak, I see. I'm a man of simple pleasures. May I borrow your tin bath? It's all I have left, sir. I wouldn't part with this for the world. Ooh, my favorite. Sir, I 
him on a hunt for the fiendish villain known only as Jeff the Murderer. Have you seen anyone suspicious pass by? No, sir. I've been too busy sweeping up other people's mess, sir. It's gonna take me ages to sweep all this muck up. This broom just isn't powerful enough for me. It makes me right angry, it does. Especially now I have to use this feeble broom. If only my newfangled automatic sweeping machine hadn't broken. Yes. I would just break it, sir. Gentlemen, you're not from around here, are ya? Do you see anything you fancy? Oh, I'd love a bit of muffin. You fribbling nitwit. How dare you? How? I'm not going to eat something that's been on the floor. I'm not an animal. Yes. Beautiful turnip you have there. Leave my turnip alone! Oh, my beautiful baby turnip. They call me Pokey Mary. Cause I'll poke ya with this. Oh, she will as well. Look what she did to my hat. I will poke ya. Yeah. yeah. We don't like your sort around here. Poking your noses in. You poke your noses in here. I'll poke you in the nose. It's rather unbecoming of a man of my standing to be rooting through dustbins. A jar of gruel, a rubber sock. Ooh, what's this? A cork. An outside meditation chamber. Ooh, someone's been meditating a lot. For reaching awkward places. Hello! I'm on the trail of Jeff the Murderer. Can we come in? Did Sir Bruce send you? Uh, yes. Prove it. Won't work. Nah, I'll get enough of that at home.
There you go. As good as new. Oh, thank you, sir. But with my contraption back at my command, I'm capable of anything. Who knows what I may become? Time to clean up this muck and make everything immaculate. 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 Enjoying a good soak, I see. I'm a man of simple pleasures. May I borrow your tin bath? It's all I have left, sir. I wouldn't part with this for the world. Now, that don't impress me much. Will this be of any use? Ooh, I bet that cost a pretty penny. But I fear it would lead me astray. From me, help me again. Go on, and I'll pull you back with this. What that pen and ink that does? Who? Cool. Don't go waving that about, cause I'll keep poking holes in it. So I can't poke holes in that either. I didn't want to anyway. We're closed. No one crosses the bridge after dark. It ain't safe. But I need to get across. I am on very important business. Sorry, mister. Since the murdering started happening, we always shut it at night to keep the rascals out. Can't you just open it a little bit? It's more than my job's worth. I'm off home for a nice plate of kippers. You'll have to come back in the morning. Oh, Fudge, what shall we do now? An ensemble of reeds. Hmm. If only there was a way to get to the other side. And be sweepable. We're going to need a bigger boat. We're going to need a bigger boat. Trail of Jeff the Murderer. Can we come in? Did Sir Bruce send you? Uh, yes. Prove it. Hmm. I will just break it, sir. What a fearsome gargoyle! Reminds me of my mother!
And be sweepable. Most unbrushworthy. Will this be of any use? This thing's as tuneless as I am. Only plays one note. No, that won't mix. I don't mind. Pow, pow, pow. You've pierced my reed. No, that's not going to work. Will this be of any use? Oh, thanking you kindly, sir. I'm going out to whistle my wife back. It's shaped like an Amazonian coracle. You can use this broom. Most unbrushworthy. Yes. Hold on, sir. This won't take long. A bit faster. We haven't got all day. Mm. Now lower the bridge. Certainly, sir. Solutions are the best. Look at the sign. 
eyes of that spider. Oh, the cobwebs are all stuck to my brush. Excuse me, young whippersnappers. That eyeball belongs to me. Find his keepers, mister. We saw it first. If you want it, you'll have to beat us at marbles. Well, I used to be rather good at this game when I was a lad. You can't play unless you've got a marble. We don't make the rules, mister. Excuse me, young whippersnappers. That eyeball belongs to me. Find his keepers, mister. We saw it first. If you want it, you'll have to beat us at marbles. Well, I used to be rather good at this game when I was a lad. You can't play unless you've got a marble. We don't make the rules, mister. Enchanting. May you hold on one moment? I'm busy attending to my clockwork farm. It's very enchanting. What's that card? I recognize that mysterious symbol. What's that card? I recognize that mysterious symbol. Wilford and Willison are in the naughty cupboard because of what they did to that poor old man. No treats for them. That's a lovely colour. That's my rouge for giving my cheeks a pinkish glow. Do you like them? My cheeks. What a proud and noble beast. Is that your father, Sir Bruce? He looks a formidable fellow. Check out the size of this marble. Ha <laughs> ha! Cool! That's a shiny one, isn't it? You win, mister! You win! What a banana! <laughs> I say! Come back with that! How did that get here? 
the final piece of the puzzle. Face puzzle thing. An eye for an eye. Enchanting. Your moustache, it's all crookedy. Here, let me. Oh, don't touch my moustache. You fool. That's right. I can't grow a moustache. Are you happy now? There, there, darling. I still love you. In a way. It's just not right. Makes me so ashamed and angry. for your help. Have a good evening. He knows, you know. He knows everything. Wilford and Willison are in the naughty cupboard because of what they did to that poor old man. No treats for them. A shame. Don't look at me. Precious. Oh, that's a very large jewel. For me? <laughs> what would my husband say? have an invitation from Sir Bruce. Who are you? I'm here to see Madam Blackheart. I sense you are greatly troubled by something. Yes, I am. How did you know? She's very good, isn't she, Gavin? You are searching for something. Someone. A stranger. Yes, yes. Jeff the murderer. This is what? Very what? I was told you could help me find who did this by contacting the spirits. But I'm rather skeptical. Yes, I contact the spirits. But first, you must cross my hand with silver. Sorry, I don't have any silver. Ooh, but I do have this massive diamond. That will do. Oh, spirits, can you hear me? Shh! Someone is answering. She's in great torment. Help me, Bertram Fiddles. You're me only hope. Well, the evening started out much like any other. Hello, mister. How are you this fine evening? Here, don't I know? And he cut me blooming head off. The rotten scoundrel. Help me find out who wronged me, so I may rest in peace and not in pieces. 
Look for the sign of the spotted calf. Oh, someone else is coming. Something wicked. Ooh, but spirit. Cover your hearts in your feet then. No, no. I can't stop them. Run, you fool. Run. them the slip are you okay sir oh Gavin I feel most peculiar like I've been scrubbed inside out with an ice-cold dirty dishcloth yes Such a fool as I thought. But you're too late. He's already gone. Who? Jeff. Jeff the murderer. What's the matter, Fiddle? You look like you've seen a ghost. Shush, Watson. You must think you're pretty clever tracking him down to this unassuming lair. But the fiend is obviously a criminal mastermind. Always one step ahead of the law. It's like a game to him. He's toying with us. Just like the severed head said. Are you sure this is that fiendish villain's house? Ah, oh, he hasn't changed a bit. Shoulders, knees, and toes. Hmm. Addressed to me? <laughs> I can smell burning. A liver, mushy peas, and a nice bottle of gin. Ah, we must have just missed him. His dinner is still warm. Liver, mushy peas, and a nice bottle of gin. What atrocious apparatus! Foofy! Are you okay? 
What kind of a maniac would make sausages out of a dog? Werther isn't going to be happy with this. Shh. I can hear scratching. Foofy, where is it coming from? It's under the floorboards. At your service. Quick, Gavin, move the table. Look, a trapdoor. Step aside, Gavin. Oh, Foofy, you're alive. Goody. Well done, sir. Oh, Werther will be so happy. Looks like it's time for us to return home, Gavin. impressed, Mr. Fiddle. It looks like you really had that villain on the run. Are you going to continue your pursuit? Do not fear, Evelina. Even though I'm going home to have my supper and get a good night's sleep, I shan't rest until I solve this mystery and uncover the secret identity of Jeff the Murderer, whomever he is. Well, I for one can't wait for the next thrilling installment of this adventure. And don't forget about the wager, Holmes. You'll have to do a lot better than this if you want to see me in a lady dress. What a marvellous story it's turning out to be.